Okay, um, up to the next one, and the last one for today. And after that, whew, we're going to have beers and music, and tonight there's a party. Who's going to the party tonight? Oh, oh, okay, I, I only see guys raising their hands, so <laughs> I'm not sure about that. Um, so yeah, the last one is from Russia, uh, Inventarium. Give them a hand, the last presentation of today. So let's wait for my presentation. Uh, I know you're all uh, tired, uh, so I, I will try to be very briefly. Uh, my name is Roman Nikitin, and uh, today I'd like to talk about making the mobile world better. So every year, the uh, number of mobile applications doubles. As competition grows, mobile companies do their best to return customers into the app and uh, turn them into the loyal customers. Companies need a tool to uh, validate their assumptions during customer development process. To do this all, they need an instrument built specially for mobile platforms. Uh, I faced this problem during my previous startup. A lot of my friends uh, too. So, uh, Inventarium is a customer feedback solution for mobile companies to uh, build a strong communication channel with their users. Inventarium is a SaaS plus SDK for all major, uh, modern platforms. Uh, your clients can talk to you, uh, they can talk to each other, describe topics, vote for ideas, and suggest for new features. And you can react fast on their feedback and turn them into the loyal customers. In the entire room, based on freemium business models, so uh, before you got uh, 10,000 customers, uh, you can use it for free, and after that, it costs only uh, $49 a month. Uh, we have several competitors. It is a uh, big uh, uh, customer feedback system for websites, uh, like user voice or get satisfaction, and uh, they are targeted on the enterprise segment, and uh, they don't have a solution for all uh, mobile platforms. And in a, and, uh, I started to work on Vint in Inventarium in February, and in uh, July, I launched the first version. This version uh, doesn't get a lot of customers, but I received a lot of feedback from them. And uh, a few days ago, I released the second version of uh, Inventarium. And this is first public mention of, of this. And uh, I'm sorry. Uh, And uh, to attract more customers, we are, uh, want to we are looking for business partners such as incubators or accelerators, uh, mobile uh, consulting companies. And uh, also we are looking at an incubation program and uh, uh, we are looking for funds. A uh, few words about the team. I'm only the founder of this uh, project. And uh, I have all needed experience to run this product. Uh, I worked as a software developer more than uh, seven years. And last two years, I was a CTO of a startup. And my advisor, Nick Mikhailovsky, helps me with uh, business issues. Uh, so that's all. And uh, if you are doing a uh, mobile startup, please write me an email. Uh, and I give you unlimited free uh, access to this. Thank you. Okay, thanks. Uh, totally different market. Um, who has a question? Pavel, hold on. Whoop. So first, I just want to make sure I understand what, what you're making. So it's essentially like you add the forum to the website. This is you add the form to, for customer to write back to you and to like your product or just like to an application. Is that, that right? Uh, uh, this is uh, a small model which uh, mobile developers integrate into their app and a new section uh, uh, with a feedback uh, uh, with, uh, will be uh, available in their app and this is yes, like, like forum. Uh, 
with votes and comments. So, so what kind of customers will actually have more than 100,000 users and pay you for that feature? Like, I'm sure Facebook will not come to you to implement, to add your forum to Facebook app, right? So what is your client? Uh, for now, I'm, I'm looking for uh, small companies uh, which start their uh, development as startups. And I want to uh, grow this product with, with their, uh, these clients. So uh, for, for the moment, I don't know uh, how to sell these to big companies and big products. Thank you. Jose? Yes, I mean, can you give us a sense of how big this can be? I mean, tell us a little bit about the market based on the business model that you're following. I mean, how big this can be and why? Uh, how big is the market, right? <laughs> how big the company that you want to build can be? Based on how big the market is, based on how much you charge, you know, and based on how much money you will require. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> uh, I'm, uh, I want to uh, build a company like uh, uh, 37 Signals. It's a small company that do a good, good thing, good for market. That's, uh, and and I, want, I, I want to grow up and, as an entrepreneur with this product too. Well, as a suggestion, I think if you need to define who your clients are and very clearly understand how you're yes. going gonna to go f to get them. And once you know who your potential clients are, identify how much they can spend on you and try to get a feel of you know, how much you can grow and how much capital you will need. And this is a, a clear question that you will get from anybody that you want to raise capital from. Yeah, of course, I'm thinking a lot of this on these questions. Thank you. OK, thank you very much. Uh, give him a hand. Thank you. Came all over from Russia. Um, yeah, guys, uh, thank you very much for, uh, for another uh, jury round. Uh, and as what we always do uh, after the jury round is uh, you have to pick one company uh, which impressed you most. So, Jose. Uh, second company. Second company. So Trender, right? So Trender? Yes. Yes. Brian? I like the last company. Last one? Uh, second one. Okay. Ah. But I don't understand what they do. But I mean, at, <laughs> least, at least I don't understand that they do something which is uh, not so useful. So uh, well, maybe there is th something useful. Somebody's paying for it. Yeah, they're making money. So that's good. Uh, also the second one, Pavel? Okay. And I'm uh, curious, uh, Brian, you, you mentioned the last company. Why, why, why are you interested in that? Look, I'm not, I'm not a great early stage investor. I get it wrong more often than I get it right. But whenever I see a really talented engineer going after a massive problem, which is the mobile app development ecosystem, mm -hmm. trying to solve problems that they themselves understand as engineers, exciting things can happen. I think the business that they're building today feels like it's a small tool, a small opportunity, but in the process, they may build tools and discover something really exciting. Okay, cool. Uh, Evan, did you have a preferred company from this uh, round? Uh, the analytics company was preferred. Analytics, second one, so trender. Okay, cool, thank you very much, guys. And I'll see you tomorrow and tonight at a party, of course. Thank you. <laughs>